Hey guys, welcome back to another review and today we have a very special review today because today we are going to be reviewing two of the brand new Cars 3 2 packs. So originally I was going to wait until the end of the month to review these Cars 3 2 packs but really I just decided maybe it was just a better idea to get these out in the open now. So I believe I do have another Cars 3 review scheduled later this week, and I believe there is another one next week, but I'll have to check on my about page for my schedule. But I am just so happy to be reviewing these, and if you're wondering how did I get these before May 1st, which is the official release of all the Cars 3 diecasts, well at least the first batch of them. So I got them because for the last couple weeks they've been appearing at Kroger's, Fry's, King Super, so Personally, I got all the Cars 3 2-packs I needed uh, for now at King Supers, and I just think that's awesome because I got six of them, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited about having these now. So, I got Cruiser Mirrors, Sterling, the 2-pack, which we're going to be getting to in a little bit. We have Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, and Sally. I also have Chick Hicks with Headset, Natalie Certain, Van and Mini, Lightning McQueen is Chester Whipple Filter, and... Luigi and Guido with cloth. So hope you guys are looking forward to those reviews. And just so I have more time to get out the rest of the reviews I need to get out, like my unboxing reviews and suggestion reviews. So I just decided to review the two packs, two two packs in each Cars 3 video. So yeah, I hope you guys do like that idea. So now let's waste no more time and let's get into the review. So first we're going to start with Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, and Sally. So the packaging looks pretty awesome, and it definitely does look different. And there is no series, because I believe the first year Cars 2 diecasts came out, they were not in series either. They all were just released by, like, number. So that's kind of how it is this year for Cars 3. But you never know, they might go to series next year, but I guess we'll have to see. So here's the... Here's the description right here of Cars 3. And then here are, here are some of the other two packs that you can get, which I have all of these except for Rusty and Dusty. So now let's go ahead and open up this amazing two pack. So here is Cars 3, Lightning McQueen and Sally out of the package so oh my gosh these two look so great together and also so i know there's not really that much of a difference of course and sally looks completely the same there's absolutely no differences for her but there is lightning lightning which has actually many differences that i'm really looking forward to mentioning so now let's get into, get into the review of these two first before Cruz and sterling so here's Sally. Now, I'm not going to get into her too much because, of course, Sally is a very old car and she has been released many times, so she has not really changed at all. Eye color hasn't changed either, or expression. Looks very nice, nice smiling expression, as always. And, of course, here on the back, luckily the same license plate. That'd be kind of odd if it had changed, but I wasn't really sure. So, that's awesome. She looks exactly the same. So, like I said, no differences, Sue. So, and also, on the base, I don't yeah, I don't believe the base is any different as well. So, now let's just go ahead and move on to Cars 3 Lightning, because I know that will probably be more exciting. So, I have to say, Cars 3 Lightning looks pretty awesome. And I'm not going to lie, the Rusty's logo seems like it's a bit enlarged. So, I'm not sure if this Lightning appears... I believe this lightning appears before his crash, but I, I could be wrong. And something also that I noticed is that, like, his body size as well. It, it almost seems a little bit thinner, but because I believe his, he's a little bit wider in the Cars 2 and the War Grand Prix Lightning McQueen and just the regular one from Cars 1. So that's what I find kind of interesting. And the flames are just only a little bit different, but I feel like his Rusty's logo is a little bit enlarged. So that's kind of cool. And then on the back, it looks exactly like the back from the Cars 2 Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen. Because the back, it just had medicated bumper ointment with no 
with no other decals besides that, but with the really small 95 on it. So I have to say this card through Lightning McQueen is awesome. I'm really excited to see his appearance in the movie because he will have another he will have another paint job for himself because and there is this one scene and I believe it might be the Curse 3 Next Generation trailer. You can see Lightning and Cruz racing on Fireball Beach. So he does have a different paint job there. So hopefully that will be released sooner or later. So that will do it with Lightning McQueen and Sally. So let's go ahead and take a look at Cruz and Sterling. So, Cruz, apparently, from the trailer, we learned that Cruz actually works at the Rusty's Racing Headquarters, and Sterling, actually, is the owner of the Rusty's company. So, I believe, I believe, in the bio of him, he is, apparently, only in the job for the money, because apparently they're making big bucks. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what the bio said, since something along the lines of that, but... I think that is pretty cool. I'm really excited to see them in the movie as well. So you guys already saw the back as well. Same characters that appeared on the back for Lightning and Sally. So now let's open these guys up. Oh man, Cruz and Sterling look awesome together. So they both have very current models because Cruz is actually a 2017 sports car, and that is really cool. I'm not exactly sure what exact model they both are, but if you can remember, because I really can't remember off the top of my head, but I know they are both somewhat sports car looking, so if you do know the models of them, please tell me in the comments section below if you would like to. So let's take a look at Cruz first. So Cruz is very cool, and now she is supposed to be Lightning's Hispanic trainer, because, of course, now that Doc is gone and Lightning really needs to clean up on his skills after his crash, Cruz is there to help him out and get him back on his, I guess you could say, tires. So, as you can see here, since she does work for, she does work for the Rusty's company, you can see here, it has a little, I guess a supposed sticker, it says, Rusty's Team 95, very cool. And then it also has a sticker on the other side. But other than that, there's no other decals. But the license plate reads C1-06A. There's also a little symbol right there for her model. Really cool. And I really love the yellow color. Definitely gives off the modern sports car kind of vibe. I think that's really cool. And her rims look really cool as well because they almost remind me of flower petals. I don't know about you guys, but if you look closely, they almost kind of can. But... I think that's really cool. And then also her rear view, rear view mirrors are plastic and not removable, of course. She's got a very nice smiling expression as well. And there is a Dynaco version of Cruiser Mirrors. So I'm kind of thinking that Cal Weathers, which will appear in Cars 3, might retire by the end of the movie. And maybe Cruz will become the new Dynaco racer. So I guess we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, of course, I'm not 100% sure how this will work out, but... I'm really looking forward to it, that's for sure. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Sterling now. So Sterling has a nice smiling expression. And I don't know about you guys, but he kind of reminds me of Bob Cutlass because, I mean, the paint jobs aren't really necess like aren't necessarily that similar, but they kind of give off like the same vibe, like the same model of... I know they're both not the same model, but just... I I'm not really sure how to explain it. It's just Bob and Sterling just kind of... Remind me of each other. Like when I think of Ster when I think of Sterling, I also think of Bob, and when I think of Bob, I, I also think of Sterling. So I don't know if that's how you, how you guys feel, but yeah, that's just kind of interesting. Something that I noticed. Now, also he's got blue eyes, and as you could see here, he has his rims or wheels look look very normal, and he also has a very awesome silver looking paint job that I think looks great on him. And then the license plate reads Stir Dash Ling. So I actually did not expect his license plate to say that. But I thought it was just gonna be some random random license plate with just a couple numbers and letters. I didn't really think it would actually be his name on his license plate, but there it is. So he has no decals as well. There is a little actually, yeah, there is a little sticker here. I'm not really sure what that says, but also it's on the other side as well. But I think it's a little bit too small for me to read. But I think these two definitely look awesome together. 
All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy this review, and tell me in the comment section below, who is your favorite two-pack? Was it Lightning, Lightning and Sally, or Cruz and Sterling? And we have many more 2017 mainline unboxing reviews, suggestion reviews, and Car 3 diecast reviews coming soon. And we'll see you guys next time for another video. Young ones, young ones, but we live for, we die for, we live for forever. They say you're